Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and I got a quick one for you. Today, we're going to talk about how to make a video itty bitty tiny. I mean, like the video size is going to shrink by a lot. So, uh, first off, this video isn't necessarily super huge, but let's take a look at it. Let's go to the properties. This video is 78.7 megabytes it's the big mb and so we want to make that smaller especially because it's only really like what a 25 second video um so we can definitely do better as far as size goes so you don't always want the smallest video in fact when you're making a video smaller you're literally throwing away information so you don't just make a video smaller just to make it smaller because if you wanted to re-edit it later it would get pretty gross looking the second time you rendered it out. So with that in mind there are plenty of reasons to want small videos. Let's go to file and render as and you'll notice I set my end out points at the beginning and end of this video. We're going to render it and make it smaller. Now for this particular video I know that it is an mp4. Um, and really, the two best codecs for this are going to be MP4 and HEV. Sorry, these are both MP4s right here, but an AVC and an HEVC are both really good compressions uh, to get a deliverable file format. What a deliverable means is not an edit file format. This is something that you're going to put on the internet or put on Discord or put somewhere. Uh, I do want to make a caveat. If you're doing like a PowerPoint video, you're going to want a WMV because a WMV is a great way to get a video that's Windows ready. These typically are pretty small and uh, they fit in PowerPoints and stuff like that. Uh, but for the, we're going to focus on the AVC. Hey, Vegas Voice here with a note Adam forgot to mention. HECV, which is also known as a H.265, is a high efficiency video codec and is best at making small but good looking videos. The drawback, though, is even though it's also an MP4 style container, it's not widely supported, and some people and our software might have trouble playing it back. So the AVC MP4 is the better way for wider playback compatibility. Just something to keep in mind. This is shot in the AVC format. Now, if you render to the same format, you're likely going to get better results in compression. So when you're throwing away information, different formats look for different pieces of information to do different kinds of math to make the video smaller and still look fine. If you're doing the math differently, this codec might look for different information than this codec, which might look for different information than this codec, right? So uh, it's best to try to stay the same codec when you're trying to keep like the best most compressed but still clear video because that's the goal is to make this still clear um, and Vegas has a helper right here you'll notice that if I click 4k uh, UHD 29.97 frames per second this doesn't really compress that much it compresses it's uh, this is a 1080p video uh, but it shot at 60 frames a second and I'm only reducing the file size by 5 megabytes ish uh, when I'm actually throwing away half the frames because this is the real one. Now, this is up resing, right? If I did this one, and I will tell you, I did a lot of experimentation, this estimated file size is like correct, so you don't have to sit here and watch me render everything. Um, it's usually going to be within 5 megabytes of this from everything I've tested so far, uh, which has been like probably 30 videos because I had to do a lot for work. So up resing, you can see, can add information. Uh, but a great way to just subtract information is to half the frame rate. So if we're talking, this is a 60 frames per second video. Uh, you can see right here it says 59.94p. That means 60 frames per second pretty much. You just got to round up. And if we, the easiest way to do this is to half the frames. Uh, if, if size is all that matters, then half the frames. So uh, you don't necessarily have to, but these are all different tools I'm going to explain. This is 1920 by 1080p, half frames. There we go. We got about half the file size, which only makes sense. We do full frames. It compresses it a little bit because it is compressing it again. Halving the frames makes it even smaller, but we can get way smaller than this. So you can go to 720p too. So you'll notice if we halving the frames, halving the resolution, we get 24 megabytes. 
but let's go even further so let's keep it HD um, even though you can continue to do this you can make a smaller smaller video in fact I have one called uh, unreal small video I use this to like pump out stuff for discord you can see right here I have five megabytes so let's talk about how to get to this point um, so for this video let's keep it HD um, instead of instead of this one's going to be an even smaller file format than HD uh, it's gonna be like a I forget exactly the dimensions uh, but we're, we'll take a look at it in a second um, so let's go with 1080p and we go to customize template so if we go here at this point, I've done some testing. 24 frames a second versus 30 frames a second isn't a huge difference, um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. But one thing you can do is go to your audio. So this 48 kilohertz is DVD audio sample rate. It's very good. Um, 44 is CD quality. 32 is worse. 24 is going to be kind of bad. So you're going to start getting like really degraded audio here. Audio files are like dying inside. We're talking about compression. Remember, we're not talking about how to like get the prettiest audio. 48 is what you're going to want to keep, but 44 might be a good way to knock off another another little bit here. Uh, you can also lower the bit rate. I wouldn't lower it too much, but you can easily lower it to like 128 or something. Or you can just hit not include audio. So for this particular video, not including audio is totally fine. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the video and we're going to keep the frame size uh, uh, 1280 by 720. That's a 720p video. And the frame rate is going to stay, we could drop it to 24 um, or 25 if you're European, but we're going to keep this one at 29 because there's not a huge uh, difference here. This has to do with progressive scan. I mean, uh, this is a progressive scan video, so it's always going to be that. But this is where you'd find your interlace settings if you were doing an interlace video. Uh, we're not going to mess with the pixel aspect ratio. Here's where we do the fun. So uh, right here, you're doing a maximum bit rate and an average bit rate for what's going to create your variable bit rate. And you can even do a constant bit rate, but a bit rate is how many bits per second your video is allowed to keep. And this is where you can really see the fall off here. So let's go to uh, peak and strain latency. Let's go to CBR. CBR is controlled bit rate. Here's where you can select. And even to manual, uh, you can't manually type in here. You can on this one. Here's where you can select your bit rate uh, and you can control this bit rate and knock it down to like the smallest bit rate possible and then hit OK and you'll notice suddenly we're measuring this with this this is our let's go to customize template and do the tutorial thing okay that way you guys can see it okay so there tutorial thing this file size went from 78 megabytes to 5 eight six kilobytes now if I rendered this video out it would look like trash so we're going to up this a little bit uh, and the constant bit rate isn't necess necessary exactly let's go back to uh, variable bit rate and what variable bit rate does it allows you to have like throw away more information in simpler scenes like solid colors and things that aren't moving very much or things that are repeated a lot in frames. It allows you to throw more information away there uh, by lowering the average bit rate. But we can, let's half everything. Uh, let's go to 4,000 actually in 2,000. Let's see how this looks. Go to OK. We got a five megabyte video here. So let's render this out. This will fit on Discord. Anything under eight megabytes will fit on Discord. Do you want to overwrite the existing file? Uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, whoops, I overwrite an existing file. That's not what I meant to do, <laughs> but here we go. It turned out a little bigger. It turned out 7.54 megabytes. So like I said, it's usually within five megabytes when you're talking the small of a target. Let's watch this video. Now this is 720p. I have a 1080p monitor, so this is 720p. This is this is how many pixels it is, and this is just the video that I drop ice in a thing, so I can do. So use it for slow motion stuff. 
and frame rate manipulation. Uh, but yeah, that's all the video is. But it looks pretty good uh, considering it's so small, considering we're talking about a tenth the size. And so, and this, like I said, it'll fit on Discord. Now, even when you full screen it, it still looks good. If you look at the video side by side, you'll notice some differences. This isn't hairline sharp anymore. Um, there's a little bit of like pasteling here on the corner of the stool. Uh, but one of the reasons it can throw away information so well is because really what it's doing is flattening out the black. So in the original video, I probably could have pulled out some of the curtain and stuff behind it. In this video, that's gone. It's just black. It's just killed it all. And that's a great way for a video to save information. So that's how to make a video very, very tiny without uh, necessarily having to compromise how it looks. So thank you so much for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I'll see you guys next time on Tech Dive AV Club.